This is puzzle number 88 from Kappa Sudoku Puzzles, volume 448. Today we'll go over the gate pattern, look at some variations of the gate pattern, and find lots of examples. We'll also use other patterns and techniques to solve this puzzle. Go to sudokuprimer.com for information about the techniques and patterns that I use along with lots of other Sudoku information. Recently, some people asked me to do something different, to keep my hand off of the puzzle when I explain things. So in the last video, I used a pointer. I thought I'd try it and then ask pe people to comment, tell me if they liked it or not. Well, some liked it, some didn't care, and some disliked it. I took a tally. By a large margin, more people said they don't care or I shouldn't use a pointer. I personally didn't like using the pointer. It was quite awkward for me. So I won't use a pointer in future videos based on uh, the tally that I took and the comments and my own preference. But what I will do in the future is to try and keep my hand more out of the way. I'll try and hold my hold the pen higher so that the the point of the pen is farther from my hand. If you like these videos, please click like and click the subscribe button in the lower right corner of the video. After you subscribe, you can also click on the bell icon to be notified every time a video is published. All right, let me fit, put in a couple of numbers here. All right, and, and um, I'm going to explain the gate pattern. In order to have a gate pattern, first of all, you need to have three cells in a row or a column in the same box within a box with two populated. Here is an example of a gate pattern. We have three cells in this box, in this row. Two of the cells are populated. Then you, have, um, then you need to have one or more numbers going through the gate. In this case, there's a 1 and an 8 here in this column. So they go through this gate. You can't have a 1 or an 8 anywhere else in this column. So they kind of like go through this gate. And then you look for the same numbers in the other two rows where the gate pattern is. So the gate pattern's here, so you look in this row and this row, in this example. We don't have any ones in either of these rows, but we do have an eight in this row right here. So one of these is an eight. Now there's an eight here, so we can fill this eight in. You could have found this 8 here by seeing these 8s and that 8, but I wanted to illustrate how the gate pattern works. Let me, let's look at this gate pattern right here. This meets the requirements. You've got three cells within this, in, within this box, box 7. Two of the cells are populated, one is empty. And then you have numbers going through the gate. In, in this case, we've got a 4 here, but we've already got a 4 in this box, so we can't use that one. But we have a 2 and a 9 that goes through the gate. And we've got a 2 and a 9 in this row, in the same row. So that means these are two 9 twins. All right, now let me show you one more uh, gate pattern. This is a variant. The gate isn't in the middle. In this example here, we've got... Um, a 3 and a 9. We've got th three cells here. These two are populated. This one's empty. So the gate is on the end. Okay. In this example, we've got a 5 and a 1 going through the gate. We've got a 5 in this column and a 1 in this column. So because of this gate, we know the 5 has to be here or here and the 1 has to be here or here. All right, 
Now, I know this is an 8 because we've got an 8 here. We've got a gate right here with an 8 going through it and an 8 in this column. So the 8 in this box has to be in one of these two cells. And so with this gate, we didn't find an, we can't solve the 8, but we know which column it's in. And so we've got an 8 here and an 8 here, so we know that's an 8 right there. Because this could have been an 8, but we know that the 8 in box 5 has to be in one of these two cells. So we have ghost 8s there. All right, let's look at box 1 here. Uh, we've got a diagonal pattern here. Normally with a diagonal pattern, you have to look in the row and the column and find two numbers that are both in the row and the column. But since this row is completed in this in box 1 here, even though there aren't any numbers here, we can just look in this column and see if there are two numbers that aren't in this box already. So you can use the diagonal pattern that way also. We've got a 3 and a 5 here that aren't here already. And with this 5, we can solve them. We can also solve, there's a 2 and 7 left in this box. We've got a 2 there, so we can solve them. All right. Now, an interesting thing with this gate pattern right here, with this gate, is we're only missing a 6 or a 9 in this row. I mean, in this column, sorry. There's no 6 or 9 here, and there's no 6 or 9 here. But we know these are two 9 twins. Therefore, that can't be a 6. So we know the 6 goes right there. That's a 9, and therefore, we can solve the 2 to also. All right, and with this 8 filled in here, well, with these 5s here, we can put a 5 right there. All right, now we've got a gate right here with a 5 going through it. 5 is the only number going through that gate. The 1 and 8 are inside this box, so we can't look at those. With this 5 going through that gate, and with this 5 right here, we know the 5 has to be in one of these two cells in box 5. Therefore, do you remember this gate pattern right here we found? In the 5 and the 1, we got a 5 here, so one of these was a 5. But now with this 5 and this gate, we know that one of these has to be a 5, so that can't be a 5. So we put the 5 right there. All right, let's look at another gate pattern. Here's a gate. Here's a 5 going through it. The 1 and the 8 going through it can't be used because they're already in the box. So again, we can only use this 5, and there's a 5 there, so we have ghost 5s here, a 5 there. So one of these is a 5. There's a 5 there, 5 there already. So we can put the 5 right there. All right, now let's look at this gate right here. Uh, we've got three cells, two of them populated. We've got a 1 in this box already, so that we can't use the 1, but the 6 and 4 go through this gate right here. We've got a 6 here, so we can put a 6 there. We can't solve the 4, but we know that the 4 goes here or here. And with this 4 and these ghost 4s, we know the 4 goes right there. And by the way, that's a T pattern right here that we have. All right, let's look at uh, box five again. You know, I've got a six there and a six there. So that's a six right there. And we can put a four in right here because we've got a four here and a four here. And now all we're missing is three, five, and nine in this box. We've got a three here, so that's a three. Five nine left with that nine we can solve the five and the nine. All 
right? With this four, this four, that four, we can put a four right there. Now let's look at the rest of this uh, column here. What are we missing? One, six, seven, and nine. One, seven, and nine. Nine there, one, seven. Nine there, one, seven. So these are one, seven twins. So that's a nine. All right, and with this five, this five, these fives, we can put a five in there. All right, now let's see what we're missing here. We're missing one, two, six, one, two, and six. One and two there, so that's a six. Two there, so that's a, we're missing one and two now, so we got two there and one there. Let's see what we're missing in column six here. Three, six, seven. Three, six, and seven. Let's see. Here's a six and a seven, so that's a three, and that's a seven, so that makes that a six. All right, let's look at box two here. We're only missing two, four, nine. Two, four, and nine. That's a four. Nine and a two. All right, and now we've got, with this T pattern here, we've got two numbers. One of these was a four. The other one is a... Six four one six four one five two seven five two seven four seven. So we can f fill those in, and we're missing three, eight, and nine there. Eight, nine, and three. Now we're missing. One, seven, eight. One, seven, and eight here. One, eight, that's a seven. Eight, one. Okay, now we're missing just two numbers here. Again, this is a diagonal pattern. We're only missing one number in each of these columns, but we can view this as a diagonal pattern too and see what's missing. 825, 825, they're all there. 397, there's a 9 there, so these are 3 and 7. And we're missing 1 and 6 here. I don't think we can't solve them yet. These are 3 and 7 we're missing. Now with our one sevens that we're missing here, we can fill those in. Now we're missing an eight and a one here. That one, we can fill in the six and the one. And we've got three, six, and seven there. And we're done. All right. Well, I hope that gave you some really good examples of the gate pattern. And um, I, I may forget, but uh, I'll try and remember to keep my hand out of the way as much as I can. Uh, so I hope that helps you, especially those who like the pointer. So, well, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next week.